Imagine, what if you're left on a desert where there is no water? According to scientists, almost half of the world's population will be at risk from water shortages by 2030. Welcome to Buka World, and today we're discussing how people live in desert where there is no water. Did you know? 33% of the world is covered by desert and 99% of world's water is undrinkable because it's too salty or too frozen. One-sixth of world's population lives in desert regions and as we know that water is very scarce in desert, how did some countries in desert manage drinkable water to a citizen and created a green paradise on it? For instance, the United Arab Emirates this country has zero rivers and there is very little water as it is surrounded by salty water and it rains just 10 days a year. But still, they restructure a desert into a green paradise and few major cities like Dubai and Saudi are the gem of desert. You may ask, how can this be possible? As the saying goes, where there is a will, there is a way. People in deserted part of the world have also found a way out for clean drinking water. They collected salty ocean water, built giant factories which specializes in removing the salt from ocean water and produces a clean and drinkable water. This process is called desalination. In simple words, salty water goes from one side and fresh water comes from another side and is distributed to the cities. Billion liters of water is desalinated every day, but with fast-growing population, the countries are under pressure to come up with cost-effective alternatives. As desalination, one cubic meter of water from sea costs about $60, whereas the same amount of water extracted through cloud seeding costs just $1. Well then, what's cloud seeding? To explain what cloud seeding is, we need to first talk about cloud clouds are a bunch of water droplets or ice crystals floating into the sky. These droplets are super cooled, meaning they are below freezing, but they remain liquid. The water droplets condense onto one another, causing the droplets to grow. When these water droplets get too heavy to stay suspended in the cloud, they fall to earth as rain. Cloud seeding is an artificial weather enhancement technique that is used to encourage rainfall. It is scientifically proven method. In short, cloud seeding is a booster short given to the clouds to produce rain. Here's how it works. The airplanes loaded with moisture absorbent chemicals like salts, dry ice or silver iodine flies over clouds layers releasing the chemicals and the winds behind the plane help to distribute the particles. Releasing these chemicals make the clouds more dense and heavy and enhances the formation of rain, leaving gravity to do the rest. Then, the rain water is collected in a huge reservoir and save it for supply. Now, if you think cloud seeding is a recent discovery, then you're mistaken. Let me share with you some interesting facts. In 1952, a freak storm caused floods that destroyed the UK village of Lilith, resulting in the death of 35 people. Report emerged that the storm was partly the result of a government-backed cloud seeding. More than a decade later, the US Army allegedly used cloud seeding techniques to extend the monsoon season and flood the Ho Chi Minh Trail, the system of supply routes used by enemy fighters during Vietnam War. The Americans hoped to cause landslides, wash out river crossings, and generally disrupt the movement of North Vietnamese troops. In 1986, Russian military pilots seeded clouds over Belarus after the Chernobyl disaster to remove radioactive particles from clouds heading toward Moscow. So, you see, Cloud seeding can be both useful and harmful, just depends on the way we use it and the purpose in question. The United Arab Emirates is one of the first countries in the Persian Gulf region to use cloud seeding technology. The cloud seeding in the UAE started in the 1990s. It adopted the latest technologies available on a global level. 
It starts inside the National Center of Meteorology, where a team is constantly monitoring forecasts, looking for potential cloud to seed by using sophisticated weather radar to monitor the atmosphere of the country around the clock. The operations only work with cumulus clouds which are vertical in shape. Once they spot a cloud, they radio the pilots to perform cloud seeding process. In UAE, cloud seeding is mainly used for meeting the growing population needs with regards to water and supporting emerging industries such as farming and in creating rainstorms in Dubai and Abu Dhabi deserts. In 2017, UAE performed 242 cloud seeding operations and the UAE government is confident the operation are increasing the amount of rainfall. The purpose of cloud seeding is not only to encourage rainfall but also rain removal. On August 8, 2008, during the opening ceremony of Summer Olympics in Beijing, the Chinese government used it to prevent rain and even guaranteed clear skies for the event. The cloud seeding operation only took the launch of 1,104 rain dispersal rockets from 21 sites in the city to pull off. The largest cloud seeding system is in the People's Republic of China. In India, cloud seeding operations were conducted during the years 1983, 1984 to 1987, 1993 to 1994 by the Tamil Nadu government due to severe drought. In Jakarta, cloud seeding was used to minimize flood risk in anticipation of heavy floods in 2013. In Southeast Asia, cloud seeding has been used to improve the air quality by encouraging rainfall and numerous countries have been using it for hail and fog removal in airports where harsh weather conditions are experienced. According to the World Meteorological Organization, 52 or more countries have cloud seeding programs and many of them continue to boost funding for such operations all in an effort to perhaps one day control the weather. Well, what do you think about cloud seeding? Please mention your opinion in the comment section below. Thanks for watching Buka World. If you enjoyed what you just saw, please like the video and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.